Hello and welcome, welcome to Vlogmas 2023. <laughs> you wouldn't believe it, but we'd practice that. <laughs> welcome to Vlogmas 2023. Well, welcome to the third day of Vlogmas 2023, but also welcome to the beginning of the vlogs. So every Sunday throughout Vlogmas, there will be a vlog up on uh, the Sunday of the week. Now today's Vlogmas be an easy video, one for you, wouldn't it? It's just one day today. Just one day. Just one day. So today is Saturday the 3rd of December. What's on the agenda? Is already? Yeah, 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 no, it's, David. It's the 2nd today. It's the 2nd of December. Yeah, What's on the agenda for today? We're singing today. We are. We've got our choir Christmas concert this afternoon. We have. Um, we're both feeling quite excited. I woke up this morning and could hear David, you gotta let somebody love you. That was David practising. Yes, there's one song I'm a little bit nervous we're about. We're in the chamber choir, guys. We're both doing solos and we're both doing chamber choir. David's doing the <coughs> solo in the Elton John medley. I'm doing the solo in the Tina Turner. You must understand how the touch of your hand makes my pulse react, etc. Uh, and then we're both in the chamber choir singing Desperado. That's the one we're least confident on. Yeah. But I think it'll be fine. Anyway, my sister is in the audience, my mum's in the audience, my nan's in the audience, my niece is in the audience. I'm hoping one of them will get some footage that we can insert here into this vlog when it comes to the time of doing it. Yeah, let's hope so. I'm quite looking forward to it because I get to dress up all sparkly. Uh, David hasn't got anything sparkly to get dressed up in. He's going to go in pure black like I'm a mime. Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash, okay, not a mime. Not a mime, Johnny Cash. So we've got that on the agenda. I'd also like a little... Tidy up at the house, if I'm being honest, David. It's a bit rank, isn't it? it? Is Look at the rank. laundry bin over there. I think it's all right. Ain't no mountain high enough over there. Yes. Um, and on the way to the concert, on the way back from the concert, we need to pick up two more Christmas sandwiches because we're fi we're filming our Christmas taste test video today, and we're taste testing Christmas sandwiches. And uh, then we need to film that when we get back. I've also got some editing to do. I mean, it's just vlogmas, vlogmas, vlogmas all the way. And no time for anything else. Strictly's really, on so. tonight. And um, what else? We still haven't watched the Late Late Toy Show. No, we still need to watch the Late Late Toy Show. We've got Survivor tonight. Oh yeah, Survivor tonight. And then, well, sometimes because Survivor they play, they have Saturday and Sunday's episode. Yeah, so we might have both. Maybe we'll do that and then maybe tomorrow night we'll do the Late Late Toy Show because I really want to watch it. Yeah, I know. I really want to watch it too. But for now, so... David and I have got an advent calendar. Oh, that's something else we've got to put up, the advent calendar. Yeah. David and I have bought each other, every other day, a gift from our local farm shop, our local fruit and veg emporium. Um, and yesterday it was my turn, and I got a QP mayonnaise. We don't know if we'll be doing this every day, because some days we're going to be at work, etc, etc. By the way, look at all the lovely frosted cars out there. Oh, yeah. Frosted is cold. It's David's turn, number two. Nice. Merry Christmas, very light, isn't it? Very light. What do you think it could be? A treat. Mm -hmm. What's sort of treat? Could it be um, dishwashing tablets? It's dishwashing tablets. What would you, would you be so sad if I just bought you loads of like household goods, like dishwashing tablets and yeah. stuff? Yeah. You would be. Of course I would be. I know you wouldn't be. Uh oh. But it's right. not dishwashing tablets, what is it? Oh, salted caramel double dipped pretzels. Well, I thought you loved pretzels oh, yeah. and you love salted caramel. 75. Oh, yes. Go show the boys and girls what it is. <laughs> salted caramel double dipped pretzels. They look delicious. Yeah? Yeah. And David's got to assemble his, his I've got to uh, assemble my treat sweetie table. table today as well. Lovely. Thank but you, I think for now, Oh, you're welcome. I think for now, maybe David will go and make me a cup of tea. Mm. And I'll do a little bit of reading in bed. Yeah? Ow! <laughs> that hit me on the glasses. Can you do that? I can try. You yeah, can but try. I understand how the touch of my hand. Morning! Again. Um, I'm gonna have a little kitchen clean up. We had a massive leak under the sink for longer than we realized so that got fixed i love it when the sound of the um, washing machine's on because it just feels makes me feel so productive um so all of my cleaning products are currently out on the side um and we also had this bin that we never use oh my god it's so heavy um that we also used as storage for cleaning products laundry products in fact but we're now going to get rid of that and i bought these in b&m so this 
like four shelves, but I'm hoping because four shelves won't fit in there, I'm hoping I can just make it into two sets of two. And then that'll be amazing. So it'll mean we can see everything. Nothing's hidden away in a bin or um, or tucked away at the back. I mean, that's the hope. So <coughs> maybe I can do it in four shelves. Lots of plastic. Does that go in there? I feel a bit wobbly. The shelves go up. And then I can put them in my lovely. Oh, right, okay. So the bottom one is a little short one. Oh. I don't think I'll let you sit through this. Alexa, play Classic FM. Oh my god, it's still. It looks Classic beautiful FM. out there. Let me show you outside my kitchen window. Look, it's like a winter wonderland out there. Oh my god, it looks gorgeous. A success story. I've done it in two parts. There's one. And here's the other, which I've started putting a few bits in so I can't lift it up. Um, and I've emptied the bin. It's not all gonna fit in there, but I'm gonna try and put it into stuff that I use less often that can be tucked away to the back. In fact, the stuff that I use less often could maybe be tucked away to the back and then not, um, not in one of these. Because these are gonna be easier to maneuver around very happy um, and then it's going to be crumpets for breakfast that's why there's crumpets for breakfast hopefully you can hear me above the racket of well one it's not a racket but david's practicing his choir songs and the washing is just doing its thing i've done we've done a bit of cleaning around the house it's looking lovely i wanted to do it i've just made i'm making breakfast now so we've got eggy bread crumpets and in the egg that I make the eggy bread with so here here are the crumpets going in to soak up the eggy mixture um, I put some jalapeno brine um, and then I serve it David, uh, with tomatoes and coriander and I'm going to serve it with a little bit of the mustard the uh, mustard mayonnaise I got yesterday in the advent calendar so yeah Davis is just cooking now he's just doing a bit of polishing and dusting in the lounge um, I'd like to start getting ready at 12. I don't need to wash my hair because I did it yesterday. Um, but yeah, I'd like to start getting ready at 12. Let's flip these bad boys. Oh, I haven't got a flipper. Where's my flipper? Is it clean in the dishwasher? Yes, it is. Um, and I've made us a couple of cups of tea as well. Nice. And I've turned it down. I'm very guilty of just putting the oven, uh, putting the frying pan on on hot and then burn stuff oh, burn to no one can have a good time with it burn but burn to but cook too quick burn um so yeah that's the plan having a lovely saturday so far very productive indeed breakfast is served Look how cute he looks in here. It looks nice, doesn't it? David's put, let me show you the uh, sweetie table. Here it is. Look at those Ferrero Rochers. That's very, very cute. And he's got one more job. He's got to put his, that on there. And then I think he's gonna do the hoovering. And then I think we can get ready. But he's got to eat that first. Right, clean and done. Breakfast, bella babissio. Plan is to go from this to this. I bought this second hand on Depop. I love it. <laughs> it's so comfy as well. Like often these sequin things are not comfy underneath, but it's very, very soft inside. Um, and I'm wearing it with silver trousers. Um, and I'll be party party. So yeah, let's put it on me. What do I do? Like one of these transitions. This is what we're wearing. Not today. quite as sparkly. It's hard to find uh, Cadbury's purple items for a man. Well, and, know, and a bigger we man. To, when we went to the show yesterday, a lot of people are in a bit of Cadbury's purple. Yeah, you wouldn't but think of investing I... in a suit. No, definitely not. That's just, <laughs> you uh... look lovely, David. You look yeah. nicer. I mean, I feel like I'm going. I feel like I'm in my old job. What, going to the office? Yeah, going to the office. You look lovely. You just need to make sure there's no bits on you. Just keep checking for bits because you are partial to a bit. I'm a bit partial. I'm wearing. This sparkly top, which I just love it so much, plus 
these trousers from Tesco's. I searched high and wide to get these bloody trousers in Tesco's, couldn't find them anywhere in my size, and then they just appeared in a Tesco I'd been looking at the whole time. 25% off, £17.50. They're very comfy. I imagine I'll wear them all over Christmas. You can pair them with any sort of Christmas jumper. And then I'm just gonna wear it with boots. So here we go. Now, I'm gonna take the camera with me. I don't know if I'll get any opportunity to film any rehearsals or anything like that. I would love to. Um, I'm also asking, I've got a few um, camera people in the audience. My sister, my niece, my cousin, my mother. I'm asking them to film as well. So hopefully we'll have some footage, have some footage. of the show to insert here. I know I promised you footage of of the concert but I just simply have to show you how wintry these trees look I mean that is just pure Christmas isn't it delighted about it right now I go to the concert oh I'm about to get my hand dirty <laughs>
David. Very good, very tiring. We both, yeah, we're both exhausted. Um, I loved it though. It was really, really good. Da -da 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 my solo went very well, your solo went very well, our chamber choir went very well, although David almost had a panic attack while it was happening because you were just very nervous, weren't you? Yeah, almost. Very, very nervous. He, he went sort of like pale when I'd have a little sit down. Um, but yeah, oh, it was lovely. It was really lovely. We had a great time. But David since then has decided he probably would do chamber choir again, so <laughs> he's got over it quite well. Can't be that bloody bad. Um, yeah, it was lovely. Yeah, it was really nice. I hope nice. you enjoy the footage, yeah. the footage that my, my cousin Laura um, took, which is very, very nice. But now, I mean, what's the thing you want to do the most when you get in after being I mean, exhausted? I mean, I am actually up for, well, oh. not, as, not as much for you filming, yeah. but eating, eating loads of sandwiches. We are now about to film, because this will be coming up next week, the taste testing video for this year. Um, and it's a revisit of... So, hey! Oh, sorry about that revisit of Christmas sandwiches um, four years on quite so, similar quite, what do you mean quite similar quite similar to probably the same sandwiches yeah. we had four years not ago not necessarily there's a couple um, of uh... but yeah so we're going to film that and then we're going to get cosy hey. and ready for the night Stop. watch oh, Strictly dear. watch Survivor I've got to edit this lovely vlog and get it ready for you guys tomorrow so yeah we'll see you again when we are sandwiched full yeah and bathed full and bathed yeah hopefully that was a lovely bath. It was very needed. I just feel so tired. I think it's singing takes it out of you. And it was a, a lo hello, Deppy. It was a long concert which followed a long rehearsal. Um, so yeah, so I feel very, very tired. Um, I think I'm gonna sit on my sofa and read have yourself a horrible Christmas for a bit until David gets out of the shower bath. Um, then we'll open the books that Philippa got us and watch a bit Strictly and I need to edit this vlog because I'd like to go to bed. <laughs> Sorry David, do you just want to say that again? Yeah. Can we make this as quick as possible? <laughs> David's got a plate full of, I've got such a tummy ache. David's got a plate full of um, kiss Le leftover and leftover sandwiches. sandwiches. So we're opening the lovely books that Philippa sent me crazy, earlier today. Earlier today, they arrived today. So I'm on the Christmas episode of the Quick Book Reviews podcast. I think it might be coming out on the fourth of December, Monday. which is Monday. Um, I Philippa also kindly, because we are <coughs> co-hosting podcast colleagues now, she kindly gave me the footage from that. David, I'll tell you about it. She gave me the footage from it, and um, has said that I can have that as one of my days of Vlogmas. So nice. even if you listen to the podcast and you love it, you can watch us chat books, which will be lovely. Now, David's got one. This is so kind. She doesn't have to send David one, but she does because she's just a lovely person. Look at a little smile on his face. Not a day's work done. Not a day's work done, and he's got one. Don't open it I'm yet. Open well, it yet. unless you would like to open it and then go and eat your sandwiches. Are no. you really keen to? No, that's fine. Okay. So she also writes lovely little notices on Ooh. them. So on, I've got three, David's got one. This first one says, Lauren, this book is out of print, but I love it and had to have, find a copy for you. Authors talk about embarrassing times. If you go to page 36, there is a mention of Elizabeth Jane Howard by Julian Barnes. Now, you know I love Elizabeth Jane Howard. I've been very much enjoying the Cazalet Chronicles. These are just such lovely, it, I mean, this is so sweet. It's a joy to even go on the podcast, David, let alone be gifted to do this. Mortification, writers' stories of their public shame. And this That's is from, quite cool. That's really cool. This is from people such as Margaret Atwood, Julian Barnes, as we mentioned there, Louis de Bernier, Roddy Doyle. Um, who else we got? Rick Moody, Edna O'Brien, Colm Tobin. Does it make you feel sick to know that I barely know any of them people on there? Yeah, I don't feel sick because I probably wouldn't barely know anyone from Chelsea. <laughs> or, or Made anything. in Chelsea. Made in yeah. Chelsea. I know Margaret Atwood. Atwood. Yeah, you know Margaret. What did Margaret Atwood write? Um, Emma. No. <laughs> Jane Austen wrote Emma. Oh God, I would absolutely wipe the floor with you in it. She wrote Handmaid's Tale, amongst other things. Who played for Chelsea three years ago, left wing. Um, Drogba? <laughs> <laughs> this is the mention of Elizabeth Jane Howard. <coughs> Someone introduced me to Elizabeth Jane Howard and then escaped. She seemed to me forbid formidable, tall, poised, coiffed and gowned, waiting to be diverted out of some grand boredom. 
That's, a, that's a very, very good. I've never really heard of anything like that before. Oh, Dappy, you're being so beautiful. Jeez. Because she's got a little tail, you can't even see it. No. The British, the British short hairs have little tails, because I've never seen such a little tail as this little tail she's got here. Right, shall I do another or you? No, you do another. I'll do another one. This one says, Lauren, a new series, question mark. Always <laughs> interested to, in a new series. And Philippa and I actually talk about series that we might, that I might be considering reading in... 2024. Ooh. Oh! Oh! I wonder. I mean, we talk about this book on the podcast. I wonder if she had already sent me this before we talked about it. So this is the Warden by um, Anthony Trollope. This is this series is one of Philippa's favourite series. But your mum bought me the second in the series oh. about three Christmases ago. It's called Barchester Towers. And I haven't got round to it because I keep saying to myself, I need to read the first one. I need to read the first one. I don't own the first one. And I, after I spoke to Philippa, I put it on my Christmas list. Um, but yeah, so now I've got the first and the second in the series. Very so I can exciting. get through those. So that's exciting. Um, it says here, Mr. Harding is a good man, the warden to an almshouse, which provides a peaceful home to 12 old men. The young and zealous John Bold is also a good man, but he believes he sees in Harding's comfortable existence an injustice which must be exposed. The law, the church and the self-righteous righteous national press all have their say hiccup in the scandal that ensues, causing a crisis in the quiet town of Barchester. Mm. Oh. Those hiccups have come on. God, I love those book plates. Oh, that's so kind. I wonder if, yeah, I wonder if we'd been talking about that before. Exciting. Right, go on then, you do yours. So mine is, David, I think you prefer graphic novels. True. And I think you like ice cream. Do you like ice cream? True, I do. Mm. I've got a bit of a sweet tooth. Yeah, well. Ben and Jerry's got fish food. Less, less sweet teeth than he used to have because he had to have loads of them removed because of all the Dr. Peppery drug. I had to have three removed. And well, it was, it was they really, were in pieces. It was really two and a half. Just one was shot. What's Debbie doing? Oh, this, I mean, this is a lovely looking. Absolutely elbowing me out of the way. Oh. Flake! Now, I know interesting facts about flakes. Yeah, go on, tell everyone. So, before I read this, I mean, this looks like lovely already. It does, the colours look But the same. Do people know why the 99 is called the 99, which is the ice cream? Um, is it because uh, it was the 99th chocolate that. He invented. He? You mean just Cadbury? Yeah. Yes. Oh, I didn't realise that was the right thing. Sorry, I thought it was because it was 99p and I thought you were going to correct me. Sorry. No. I thought I'd given you the wrong quote so then you could say, no, Lauren, it's not. No. But give the actual fact because I didn't give it that, very well. That is the actual fact. Yeah, so it's the 99p yeah. chocolate. So it's not because it's 99p. They're not 99p it's anymore It's because... Anyway. The flake was the yeah, 99... three pound one. Oh my god, she's trying to... She's asking me to explain and she's talking over me. It's that unusual is just for you. our life. It's, yeah, well, it's my life. It's not our life. Go on, go. So, <laughs> I mean, we, I, I feel like it's been said twice now. So it doesn't need to be said a third time and be interrupted. Uh, so this is called Flake by Matthew Dooley. It looks great. It's a cool little front cover. So, um... What's it about? Let's find out. I think it's on the back, isn't it? Is it, on the ba is it on the back? Oh I my mean, god, the it's... end papers are amazing. Did you oh, see? Oh, the, uh, yeah, the, uh, the inside, the, oh, well, You ins might not be able to see it because the, um, let me press the button. Yeah, I think you can see it. It's a little ice cream. Yeah, they're cool. Oh, I like it already. It so, Howard's aspirations are modest. As long as he can sell ice cream and get the crossword done, he'll be happy. So what happens when his world collides with a uh, rampant ambition <laughs> with the ramp <laughs> rampant ambition of his ice cream nemesis, Tony Augustus. Flake is a story of fate, friendship and fighting back. That sounds This sounds great. really cool. Right, she's better at buying books for you than I am. <laughs> yeah, I might read this. Yeah, she, no, you will read, read it. This. You will read it. Oh, exciting. Yeah, yeah, the, um, the, I, I won't the artwork delve is great. too far into the story. I love it when it's sort of like greyer tones with like a pop of yeah. I love that thing. It's cool. Great. Lovely. Oh, Thank lovely. you, Philippa. That's so kind. And then Very I've got one more. Lauren, I love the title of this book and I enjoyed the story too. I don't think you've read anything by this author. How do people keep up with what you've read? I do not know. It's Maybe madness. you should pay a bit more attention to your wife. Because no. do you remember every year I asked David to go into a bookshop and buy me a book off the shelves? Yeah. And you don't have to give me any, like, you, no prior knowledge of anything. And, um,. One year, he bought me the same book I'd already read that year. Because <laughs> you probably put it in storage. Here we go! Oh, 
the queen of bloody everything. I do like the um, the title of that. By Joanna Nadin. Never read anything by Joanna Nadin. As Edie Jones lies in a bed on the 14th floor of a Cambridge hospital, her adult daughter Dido tells their story, starting with the day that everything changed. The day when Dido, aged exactly six years and seven days old, met the next door neighbours and fell in love. Because the Trevelyans were dreaming... Well, sorry. Because the Trevelyans were exactly the kind of family Dido dreamed of. Normal. Oh. Nice. Well, what a lovely, lovely selection of little books. Aren't we lucky? We're very lucky. Thank you again, Philippa. And do check out the Quick Book Reviews podcast. It's very, very good. Um, Shall I wrap up the vlog now, David? Yeah. Because... Because I don't want to be on anymore. Yeah. I'm so tired. I just want to I watch like some I've, TV I've and eat the sandwiches. Bit. Daphne just loves this sofa so much, she doesn't does. she? She hasn't she loves it, it when we're talking. No, don't, don't encourage her to, to, oh. to do that. Don't encourage her to do that. Um... Yeah, so I think what I will do now is edit the rest of this vlog. 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 <laughs> Splodge. 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 That's from another video. You've got that coming up. Um, and we're going to watch Strictly. Maybe watch... Um, what's that programme called? Survivor. Survivor. Not maybe. Um, we are watching Survivor. And I might do a bit of cross-stitch, which will be nice. Yeah. So I think that's that. So, hey... Oh. Definitely just a ducky doop his feet. So thank you for joining in for week one of the vlog. Week two of the vlog will include much more of the week. So I've been doing the Friday reading vlogs, just in case you didn't see the Friday reading vlogs. You get two vlogs a week now. You get the Friday reading vlog, which goes up on a Saturday, and then you get the week vlog, which goes up on a Sunday um, throughout Vlogmas. So next week's Sunday vlog will be of the whole week. More choir, <laughs> because tomorrow we're performing in an outdoor choir thing, which will be lovely, but I think cold and rainy. So yes. Thank you so much for joining and uh, we'll see you all again soon for another Vlogmas video. Say bye. Bye. Bye.